so much. Can we get a round of applause to all the wonderful comics we have seen so far? Hey, everyone. I'm looking out in this audience. Who here in this crowd is a prepared person? Who would consider themselves a very prepared person? One person is forcibly made to raise their hand. I have someone in the back, and everyone else is like, no, not me. Okay, wonderful. Well, for all of you not prepared people out there, listen to this. I am a prepared person, a very prepared person, might I add. When I was a kid, the number one thing I always tried to prepare for was a home invasion. I just like knew that I would experience a home invasion at some point in my life. And so I wanted to prepare for it, like making booby traps and whatnot in my house. And I thought that this was a skill that would really do me good because at some point I didn't ever want to experience a home invasion. And then it wasn't until about last year I realized that all of this was in vain because ambulance, because, <laughs> sorry everyone, I like to point out the local scene. <laughs> Um, anyway, wow, I just ruined the punchline. <laughs> the punchline was coming, and uh, I, I, you know what, so now you're never even going to hear this wonderful there. You're not going to hear it. Next time, next time, everyone, we're going to table it. Oh, I know, it is, it's disappointing for me, too. I practiced this in front of a mirror <laughs> for a long time. I practiced this. Everyone, it's okay. Don't worry about it. We're just gonna move on. Transition. Um, so, who watches videos on YouTube? Oh my God, this is a totally different reaction than the last question. Everyone's like, me, I do, I do too. You know, it's weird when YouTube recommends things for you because sometimes YouTube is like spot on. And the other times you're like, how, why am I being recommended this? This doesn't make sense. This is basically what happened to me um, about two weeks ago, YouTube recommended this video of how to apply foundation. And I don't wear makeup, but I was like, you know what, I'm gonna hear what this woman has to say. Because this is a, this is a skill that I think you should know. And I think that's why YouTube recommended it to me. They're like, you should know this. So, all right, good. I clicked on the video and the woman in the video was showing you how to apply foundation, but she wasn't doing it on her own face. She was using a potato. So she was applying the foundation to the potato and then she applied lipstick on the potato. She was showing you how to do these different like contouring things with all these different types of makeup. I don't ever wear makeup. I haven't I had to wear it when I used to do musical theater, which is another story, but I haven't worn it since then and it's been years. And then, so I was watching this video and I started feeling really like down and out about it because I have low self-esteem. Um, and I'm like, I would never stand in front of a group of people that are mostly strangers and say that I'm uglier than a potato. <laughs> but am I uglier than a potato with makeup on? I, am, I don't know. I don't know. And, and I wouldn't ever ask you to rate me against a potato with makeup on. But if I were to do that right now, what do y'all think? <laughs> the verdict's still out. The, someone is, what? You know what, the verdict is still out. Because I know you're picturing like I am, this beautiful potato. Sometimes I'll say things like this, potato story and other things about my self-esteem to my therapist, Dr. Nesbitt. You're saying to yourself, thank God she's in therapy. Yes, I sometimes say that too. Dr. Nesbitt, my therapist, is a saint. She's truly a saint. Um, and I like to tell her these little stories about things I'm thinking about because sometimes she'll say to me, you know what, Stacy? That story's really interesting. And I say to her, I'm like, that's so good, Dr. Nesbitt. I guess I'm the most interesting person you're seeing. And she refuses to answer that. She's like, I'm not allowed to talk about my other patients. But here's the thing, everyone. I want to be the most interesting person Dr. Nesbitt is seeing. Because if I'm not, what if I lose my interesting quality and she doesn't want me to come back? Like, I want, it's not sad, everyone. Don't worry, I'm interesting enough. She keeps on scheduling appointments. So I've made it this far. I'm going to end with this, everyone. Here we go. We're, we're doing this together. 
I've created a phrase that I really want to catch on. This is it. Do you, if I say the term backup friend, do you kind of know what I'm implying with this? A backup friend is something, you may be a backup friend that when a friend of yours who actually has a best friend, they're fighting with their best friend or their best friend's out of town, they'll hit you up and they're like, hey, do you want to get drinks? And you know you're really only being contacted because there's a schism going on with their real friend. That's a backup friend. Um, I am a backup friend to some people. I've grown to actually like this title uh, because being a backup friend has perks. Uh, one of those perks is the gossip. You get a lot of really good gossip when you're a backup friend, um, particularly about the person who's not there because they're otherwise away. And I think what I'm trying to say with all of this that you've just listened to I think if I could summarize it into a point and really deliver that point to you all right now in some anecdote that you could take with you after the show is, it's coming everyone, and this is what it is. Everyone, listen to me. <laughs> That potato was so beautiful. You have been a wonderful crowd. You have been so wonderful. Thank you so much. I've been Stacey Axler. Um, I'm very excited to bring the microphone right now. Um, someone who is uh, great. So enjoy. Please give a hand for Walter Gottlieb, everyone.